Hello everyone, uh, this is Jagdish. Uh, welcome to another video on uh, Logit and Probit model. So first we will see uh, the basic uh, introduction of uh, Logit model. So uh, I don't take much time in uh, explaining this as you, uh, I uh, hope you have uh, some idea about the Logit and Probit model. So in this case we will be taking uh, the probability of owning a house or not owning a house. Uh, so this is our uh, example. So in this we have the uh, variable called income. So if the income increases whether the uh, probability increases of getting a uh, house or whether the, there is not probability of getting a house. Uh, so let's see this. So this uh, this equation is a, it is the basic equation of a linear probability model. So uh, in this we can see that if uh, y is equal to 1 uh, that is the probability of owning a house if uh, x that is the income increases. So this is a concept and this is a simple linear model and in case of logit model it is a, uh, it is somewhat a different that is a, it is expressed as 1 by 1 plus e power minus beta 1 plus beta 2 xi here xi is called the income that is the way in, uh, independent variable based on which the uh, probability will be predicted so for case of exposition that is uh, the probability which is explained as e power z divided by 1 plus e power z so which is uh, uh, widely used in the logit model so here the uh, zi which is nothing but the uh, beta 1 plus beta 2 xi that is the equation uh, which ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity these are some of the uh, conditions so it is very necessary and pi that is a probability which uh, lies always between 0 and 1 so this is the simple uh, concept and next we will see uh, if they uh, before we have seen uh, the probability if the probability of owning a house so 1 minus pi is the nothing but the probability of not owning a house for that uh, the case the variable or the equation would be 1 by 1 plus 1, uh, 1 plus e power z i. So in case of pi by 1 minus pi, uh, we simply solve this equation, this, uh, both the equations. Uh, here you can see uh, uh, e z by 1 plus e z uh, divided by uh, 1 by 1 plus uh, uh, e z. So finally the output would be e power z i which we, which we will be uh, calling it and this pi by 1 minus pi that is the probability of owning and probability of not owning which is simply called the odds ratio so uh, this odds ratio is uh, very uh, useful in uh, finding this so uh, let's see how this works in uh, uh, in case of uh, calculation so uh, for uh, taking a uh, log to this odds ratio which gives the final probability value um, log of odds ratio that is which is called as the log it so let's see how this model works and uh, probit uh, it is similar case of a probit um, uh, let's see a simple uh, equation and then we will uh, go into the uh, example so in case of probit it is not much uh, varied uh, uh, as i uh, uh, suggest so this is our probit model in this model there will be some uh, utility index that is i which is nothing but if uh, uh, in this what it will be insisted is that if income increases there would not be probability of increasing or there will not be a probability of owning a house so there will be certain uh, criteria so uh, if the income exceeds the criteria or the minimum parameter or the threshold level uh, the probability of owning would be decided so uh, this is the difference uh, when compared with logit and probit and uh, here it uses the uh, cumulative distributive function and here you can see the uh, equation which is f of x is uh, uh, infinity uh, from minus uh, infinity to x0 integral of and uh, 1 by 2 sigma square so uh, we can see here that this is a final uh, uh, equation so based on this equation we will be finding the utility index and we will be predicting it so uh, let's see how this works and uh, first i will uh, uh, explain you uh, the data so that uh, you can uh, get some knowledge uh, regarding that and let's see how the data is so here I have taken the insurance uh, here you can see zeros and one uh, zero is not having an insurance and one is having an insurance 
so it is based on the retirement age and uh, uh, status uh, income educations married or unmarried and uh, this is the person id so to categorize the persons different persons it has been used so let's go into the topic uh, so you here you have seen that uh, the uh, data and you can uh, easily understand the the categorical variable is used so for using those kind of uh, variables we will be using log it or profit model uh, so initially uh, you need to estimate the uh, log it so it is uh, very simple and uh, you don't uh, need to uh, in case of uh, regress you will be just writing reg and followed by independent variables and dependent dependent variables and independent variables so in this case of uh, log it you will be just using as such and uh, log it I will be using all these uh, variables. So let's see how this uh, works. And uh, here it is uh, the log it is a function of the command uh, for uh, running a log it function. So in this you can see there are uh, mm, some of the variables which are uh, not significant and most of the other variables are significant. Uh, only the age is uh, not significant. And uh, as in case of uh, linear regressions, you, you will be uh, interpreting uh, using the coefficients but you cannot do in this case so for uh, interpretation you need to take the marginal effect so based on the marginal effect we will be uh, interpreting so for uh, finding the marginal effect of this uh, we need to use uh, another uh, uh, code which is nothing but the mfx so mfx is the marginal effects so what this uh, condition does is nothing that uh, if you need uh, in this marginal effects the average of the uh, variables uh, values are taken and based on that it would be uh, doing it that is nothing but the dy by dx so based on this uh, it, uh, you can convert this into percentage and based on the percentage you can uh, interpret and uh, based on the significance level you can uh, see uh, the p values so uh, it is uh, around 7.1% uh, uh, i hope so uh, increasing uh, it has an fa influential factor on uh, insurance so similar way you can interpret and uh, if you need to do this both uh, 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 both uh, at the same time you can uh, you can easily do uh, and uh, you can predict the values so in case of you need to do the probit uh, it is similar to log it just give the probit and uh, let's see how this uh, infers So this is our uh, probit values and uh, when we compare the pseudo r squares of both it is 0 0.067 in case of a probit it is 0 0.068 uh, so uh, there are no much difference between them both of them and um, if you need to find the marginal effects you can just uh, use a command mfx and you can find the marginal effects and uh, you can see uh, and if you need to find the odds ratio it is uh, it is very easy uh, so we will uh, first uh, this is the log it command and use or uh, which is the uh, odds ratio so here you can see the odds ratios has been uh, defined so the odds ratio is greater than one uh, it indicates the probability of getting and uh, so this is a simple way and if you need to predict the probability values you can directly predict it uh, so you must define some uh, val uh, name so I will be using predict uh, predicted uh, log it values pr so let's see how uh, the predicted values looks like and here you can see that this probability is uh, 0 0.22 0 0.33 0 0.18 uh, so these are the probit uh, log it uh, estimated predicted values so we will see uh, how the probit values are so if you need to find the odds ratios you can do it uh, oh sorry Sorry, uh, you know, in probit we cannot do odds ratio. So uh, let's see how the predicted values are for uh, probit. So I'll change this name to p probit that is predicted probit and pr. So let's see how this predicted value. So you can see there are no much difference between them both. So uh, here you can see uh, both the variables are very nicely uh, explained. So this is the simplest and easiest way of finding the uh, predicted values for a log it and probit model. So based on this you can interfere uh, in France uh, and uh, you can have your uh, uh, example and uh, run your codes. So uh, I hope you have uh, understood some, uh, some ways of uh, running the model in Stata. 
so if you have any doubts uh, please comment me and uh, thanks for watching the video please do subscribe thank you